Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to watch for, an earthquake watch as well, pulsar rethink, and an introduction to the Charlemagne event, an isotope spike across multiple elements involving tree rings and ice cores suggesting a colossal solar event took place 1,300 years ago. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 48 hours on our star, wanted to go back far enough to see some eruptions on the right side, and then the return to relative quiet. Hello, coronal hole. Solar flaring died back down as it was just a goodbye kiss from the sunspot. Solar wind without much movement as well as that vertical climb looks like the data errors we're used to seeing. It's not on any other chart and no actual effects are being seen in Earth's magnetic field. And besides, it only took the speed to 500 kilometers per second, which might not budge the KP even if it was a real stream. The streams have been weaker in general. Anyway, before the stream from this opening arrives at Earth, its IMF and kinetic alpha waves have already started. Earthquake warning ramps up fast now. In Southampton, they are channeling their inner thunderbolts. Pulsars are known to have anomalies sometimes, either with glitch speedups in rotation or slight wobble induced by a planet. Well, what happens if a pulsar has both? They've found one. The theories contradict, which means a full-scale re-evaluation of each and of the true nature of pulsars is at hand. Link is found below. And also to this. Folks, I'm trying out a community draft system. The goal is to put a well-cited and thoughtful and short bit of information together for beginners in the community about specific topics. I would like the greatest solar event in known history to be the first one. While many know about the Carrington event in 1859 and analysis of what would happen in today's electrified world, the Charlemagne event was worse. That's left versus right here. The document is currently available as a free download at otf.cells.com. Scroll down, left side, it's in the same place as the PDF of our latest book, conference tickets, etc. The edits and comments and additions you might have would be really helpful, and I'd like them by the end of the weekend. You will get credit for the edits used, and we can all come together to turn this draft document into something very helpful for the community. And hopefully it works and we can do it over and over again with other topics as well. We've got the wind maps, null school temperature run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.